Amen, everybody. Come on, let's go ahead and give the Lord praise this afternoon. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor you, God. We praise you. God, we magnify your holy name, God. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, you guys. Let's go ahead and just give the Lord praise this afternoon. I know some of you guys are busy. I know some of you guys got stuff on your mind, but we're going to put that down today on the altar. Amen. And we're really going to seek after the heart of God this afternoon. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, let's begin just to praise him. Amen. I just come against resistance on this line today. I come against uh, backlash and retaliation in Jesus' name. We just bind it up and we take authority right now in Jesus' name. I just come against every distraction. In Jesus' name, every stumbling block, we come against it now in Jesus' name. And God, we decree and declare no weapon formed against us will prosper in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing right now in this very moment, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God, for the healings that's going to take place today. We thank you, God, for the deliverance, God, that's going to take place today. We thank you, God, Lord, that you are moving on our behalf in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that whoever came on this line heavy will leave refreshed. Whoever came on this line tired, God, that they'll be rejuvenated, God. Whoever came on this line sick, they'll be supernaturally healed today in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for the turnaround, the breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I feel some of you guys are just holding back, but we're going to break that barrier today in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to welcome everybody to uh, the prayer line today. Today we're reading out of one of my books, Prayers That Break the Yoke of the Enemy, a book of declarations, and our uh, topic is adultery, amen, but what the Lord has been downloading in me is some of us have been committing spiritual adultery, that means some of us have been having, uh, we have idols, and you know, today we're going to blast those idols in the spirit, in Jesus' name, amen, and we're going to also pray as the Holy Spirit is bleeding, all right? Even right now, I'm getting words of knowledge already. Amen. And I know God's going to do something super supernatural today. So we're going to go in this thing today. Amen. So, Father, we just come against spiritual adultery right now in Jesus' name. God wants to be first place in our lives. Amen. God wants to be number one, number one. Amen. Numero uno in our lives. Anything that has first place uh, in, in, in front of God, we got to repent today, amen. God is a jealous amen. God, and he hates idols. So anything that you got before God, we're going to put it on the altar today. There's no judging. I hear somebody say she's judging. She's going hard. The devil is a liar. I come against yeah. that in Jesus' name. Don't let the enemy deceive you, my beloved. Don't let the enemy tell you any different. What God is speaking, amen. So we're going to put those all I idols right now on the altar. That means relationships. You got a relationship yeah. before God. We're going to put that on the altar today. We're going to put some people are your idols, your career, your money, finances. Your ministry can even be an idol if you're not careful. Amen. Just because you're in ministry. Lord, I put my marriage God. on the altar. Yes, we got to. And if you're loud like that, please kind of mute. Amen. Because it comes off as a distraction. And I love you and the Lord. Amen. But we're going to put this on the altar today because any idol, uh, you know, we, we got to be careful. Amen. We got to be Amen. careful because we don't want to uh, uh, sin against God. We're going to, you know, uh, get this thing right today. I prophesy prophetic oh, alignment yeah. today. I prophesy prophetic alignment today in the name of Jesus. We don't want to have idols in our hearts. We don't want to have Amen. idols before God. Come on. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. We're going to get this thing right. Amen. I decree in the Amen. Karen, say this with me. I will not partake in adultery. I will not, I will partake. not partake in adultery. Amen. Whoever commits adultery lacks understanding and they destroy their own souls. Proverbs yeah. 630. Two senses. So we got to be careful that we do not uh, uh, be an adulterous people, just like the children of the Israelites. 
uh, they, they were adulterous. And in the book of Hosea, they, they committed uh, spiritual adultery. They were worshiping other gods. You got to be careful. Mm-hmm. So we just come against adultery today in Jesus' name. For the Jesus. very people on here, I prophesy. Yeah that we will never commit adultery in Jesus' name. And even Amen. if you have committed adultery, you know, I pray that your spouse will forgive you and, and, yeah. and y'all can move on and pass it in Jesus' name. Many people's yeah. marriages have failed because of adultery. Many people's marriages uh, you, they ended up in divorce and just separation and children have been hurt. So we just got to be mindful that our actions do not uh, uh, only affect us, but they affect other people. So we just got to be mindful of that. And I pray for the singles on here that when you do get married, that is death to death do your part and that y'all will not commit adultery in the name of Jesus. We got to be careful uh, that the grass is not greener on the other side. That we'll, that we'll be faithful to our spouse. We'll be faithful to our God. You you got to know that this is a spiritual commitment. Yeah. This, when, when you say I do to somebody, this is a covenant that, you, that we are making before God. This is nothing to, to, to mess around and to play with. Even right now on this line, there's people that have miscommunication and disunity in your home, and we come against the spirit of adultery. Some of us have committed yeah. adultery in our minds. Some of us have committed adultery in our hearts. If you, if you yeah. think... After uh, another woman, you have committed adultery in your own, in your heart. That's right. But well, we're going to put that thing in the altar today. That's we're going to put it on the altar. Amen? So if you're married yeah. on here and you're mad at your spouse, I want to prophesy that we'll have discernment as never before. Discernment as never before. So yeah. we don't take the bait of the enemy. Amen? That's so right. Amen. Decree this out of your mouth today. I will not lust after someone who is not my spouse. I will not. Look after someone who is not my spouse. Amen. Hallelujah. Whoever looks on a man or a woman to look after him or her has committed adultery in their hearts. Matthew five twenty eight. So we got to be careful. Amen. Come on. Yes. Decree this out your mouth. I will not put anything before God in Jesus' name. I will, I will not, not put anything, put anything in before Jesus God in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Some people on this line, we got some generational curses that need to be broken today. Perhaps your father mm. or your mother stepped out of their marriage, and that mm-hmm. same demon is going to try to come in your life. And don't ever say you'll never do nothing. Amen. Because I, I made that mistake. So I'll never do that. I never do that. And I and I and I, I followed my father's footsteps to be transparent. Amen. But there's some generational Amen. curses that need to be broken. Amen. Yeah. We break that womanizing spirit in the name of Jesus in our generation. We break that adultery spirit in our generation in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Because it seems like Amen. nobody in your family can stay married. Nobody in your family can stay committed. The devil is a liar. That curse yeah. breaks today in the name of Jesus. In the name I of Jesus. I prophesy we're going to honor marital vows. We're going to honor it. Amen. We're going to honor Amen. it because God esteems marriage. Marriage should be held uh, in high esteem. Amen. It should be uh, Amen. held in honor uh, among all. It's it's. it's something beautiful in the sight of God, but nowadays the enemy wants to pervert what God calls holy, but the devil is a liar, amen, I prophesy that our marriages, our future marriages will be divorce proof in Jesus' name, I prophesy good marriages, faithful marriages, even if a marriage is broken on here, I decree and declare restoration today. Amen. It's a heart cry from people right now. Some people are crying out. Some people are wounded, saying, God, I need you to move right now in my life, God. I need you to move in my marriage, God. I need you to turn this thing around, God. God, I don't want to get a divorce. God, I don't want to be separated. Oh, God, I ask you, Lord, to move right now in these homes, Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Come on. I decree we're going to honor marriage. We break yeah. the spirit of death and divorce and adultery and lust, and we break yeah. it out of marriages today in Jesus' name. Jesus, Lord. Come on, we're going to honor marriage. Marriage is honorable to all. The bed is mm. undefiled. 
and the whoremongers yeah. and the adulterers God will judge. And I don't know about you, but we don't have time. Come on, to be still in the wrath of God. Amen. We don't want to play with God, but God is not playing. No, it ain't. Right. You go out today and you cheat on your spouse, you might get an STD. You might die right. early of cancer. You, I'm telling you, you might die in your sin. We don't have time to be having the wrath of God. God is not Amen. someone to be played with or to be messed around with. You might go up there and you might have all these idols in your heart, things that you place before God. You go straight to hell. We don't have time for that. Amen. Amen. Come on, I decree and declare. Come on, we're gonna flee fornication. We're gonna flee yes. adultery. Please. We don't have time to flee it. This. No, we don't. We don't have time to be sending it to God. Amen. No, Amen. we don't. We don't. In this day and hour, if you don't have the glory of God in your life, the enemy will take you out. Yeah, he, he will. will. Take you out. You need yeah. the glory of God in your life. You need protection. Yes, that's right. You Amen. Need protection. Yeah. Amen. 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 We don't have time to be grieving the Holy Spirit. No, we don't. Our, our, our flesh is acting up. I prophesy. Help me crucify this flesh today. Crucify yes. it. Some people yes. here, they're crying out to God. It's been so long, and I've said this before. God, it's been so long. You're looking at the calendar. Lay it for the calendar. I prophesy you will not stumble. I prophesy you will not fornicate. I prophesy you will not. You will not. God, you will not. You get the we are not. The yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, yes. for strength, God. To keep, to keep holding on. Come yes, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I, de- I decree this and declare this before. Some of you guys need to get mad at your spouse and say, I don't got to take this. Oh, this person can treat me better. And the devil is a liar. That's right. <laughs> Cut it off. That's Come right. Cut it off. Get started. Amen. Come on. Anybody that's a threat to your marriage, block them. Don't even that's think right. twice about it. Amen. I know that's right. Yes, yes. If you got to think twice right. about it, you got to get delivered from an adulterous spirit. I'm going to go ahead and That's say right. Amen. Amen. Come on. If you're hesitating about blocking someone from your past, you got to get delivered from the spirit of adultery. Yeah, amen. You cannot have a, a blessed marriage. You cannot expect God to bless your marriage. You're still holding on to your past. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, God's not pleased with that. Amen. Your job, uh, as a, I'm talking to married people, you don't ever make your spouse feel insecure mm-hmm. about someone else. Cut that person off. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cut them off. That's right. Cut them Come off. On. If you know if you're attracted to somebody, you know that you're lusting after somebody, we got to go before God and say, God, take this wicked desires out of me. Take it mm-hmm. out of me. That's right. Come yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And for Amen. the people on here, because these things work in both ways today. Amen. For the people that's, that's been right. a victim of adultery. Mm-hmm. You're beating yourself up. Saying, oh, what did I do? I don't, I'm insecure. I'm feeling insecure. The devil is a liar. Then it's Amen. not your fault. It's not your fault because the spirit of lust can never, can't can satisfy. It's going to want more and more and more and more of something. That's Amen. right. Come on. Amen. There's nothing wrong with you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made for the people that's been hurt because your spouse has committed adultery. Don't allow yeah. the enemy to beat you up and tell Amen. you that it's your fault and tell you that you're ugly, tell you that you're fat. The devil is a liar. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking truth today. Amen. Yeah. Truth. Amen. Truth. They're trying to make you feel like you you don't I'm have what it takes. You are good. You are special. Yeah. But you it's not your enough. fault That's that right. your spouse stepped out on you. I saw somebody get That's free right. today. Somebody That's right. You ain't. Up. Well, if I would have dressed a little sexier, my no. husband wouldn't have left me. The devil is a liar. Amen. Yeah. Your spouse yeah. needs deliverance. Your spouse he needs right. That's right. God. Yeah, they do. They do. Yes, 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 they do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word. Come on, there's nothing wrong with you. Somebody nothing. up here crying and feeling the press. All right, yes, you are hurts. enough. When you're, when Hallelujah. When your fault steps out on you, but it's not your fault. It is not nope. your fault. No, nope. it's your fault. It's not. Come on, feel somebody you here. are I enough. Amen. Right Amen. I feel somebody Amen. free today. Stop beating yourself up. 
Amen. Yeah. Don't lower your standards. Let me tell you something. I'm talking to somebody right now. You put your foot down. And you tell your spouse is committing adultery on you. Yeah. And you, first of all, you put that person on the altar, but you put your Come foot on. down. You say, I'm yeah. not going to sleep with you because I don't know where you've been. I'm not trying to get no STD. I'm not trying to get Come no on. HIV. I'm not trying to get something. Come on with it. I can't wash off. You want yeah. to man. We're going to go to counseling. Stop. I'm talking to somebody today. Take a thought. Come on. Yes, yes. Take a story over that mess. And if you do finish yes. the fuck, use a condom and go get tested because too many people are dying. That's yes. right.